Hello everybody, it is me, Aditya, with Roblox Visuals. Today I'm going to teach you guys about some text manipulation on Photoshop and how to import these into Roblox. I will do in a later video, but I'm going to show you guys how to get that local, how to get that normal like simulator aesthetic you see on logos, you see in UIs and everything. This is like a really good technique if you guys want to take your text game to the next level. Alright, so we're going to first up open our uh, canvas, which is always going to be 17 by 14, right? Uh, since the background is always white, we want to keep that right, but we want to turn down the brightness a little bit because what ends up happening is if you're working with white, you can actually not see it. So a nice gray color will suffice. So for this, we're going to want to use a very cartoony text. I'd recommend a few texts like Starlight Personal or Luckiest Guy. So we're using Starlight right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sample. Remember to always use capital, guys caps help like make your text stand out way more right a little case just doesn't look good when you're doing this type of thing there sample text all right so let's go to sample first what we're gonna work with is a gradient now a gradient is pretty much a, a color fading to another color for those of you who are just starting right so for gradients what we want to do is on the bottom we always want to choose a darker variation of the color and work our way up like that right so we're gonna do like a nice orange of sorts right so Here's a nice bottom color right here. We found it. And then we're gonna go over here now, but then we're gonna take this up. Up. Up, over here, this'll work. And we're actually gonna make this bottom part a bit brighter. So it's not as like dusty looking, I guess. There we go. Now we can see there's like a clear build up, right? build up and we can play around with the skill this skill pretty much like shows like exactly where the gradient like fades at so what we want to do is we want to mess with just a little bit right we always want to keep this on 90 there are different options like radio and things you can use this for different um uis and stuff like that right so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to apply a text or i mean a text stroke right we're always going to use white most of the time just because the white's like more of a passive color if you use a uh, black on a on a stroke right it kind of it makes it like visible but it's like more like a serious tone so what we're going to do is we're working with more cartoony uis cartoony themes so we're always going to stick with that white white stroke it makes it always look nice so now we're just going to copy layer style from there to here so now one thing we want to do is we want to make sure none of these are touching because like on logos you definitely want to make sure they're touching you want to make sure there's some sort of connection right but on like normal text you just want to make sure they stay away from each other right there's another thing called warp text so this is pretty much a way to like what self -exam? it's a way to warp your text to different shapes and like angles of sorts right so this is an arc this is like really commonly used whenever ui designers work right i'd recommend like don't use this on like uis most of the time right not many are used on actual guis more used on like logos and like thumbnails and stuff like that right so let's turn this up to a nice 15 15 is a good number if you guys want to stay like sub to about it you guys don't want to make it pop out too much of it you guys see you guys can see the curve but it's not too dramatic too right so that's what we're going for right here next what we're gonna do is we want to make this pop out a little bit more right so we're gonna add a drop shadow for this right for a drop shadow let's turn this to 90 right here right we're gonna, we're gonna mess around with the distance right here perfect spread let's make this thick right here so for the size this is gonna be like the part where it's up to us so as you guys see you can kind of see that little 3d look already right to make that stand out even more what we're gonna have to do is there we go we apply a gray 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 overlay on that right what that does is it just makes it pop out from the white makes it look like it's a 3d font or something like that we can also turn the opacity up or turn the opacity all the way all the way up yeah there we go so we're just going to copy this again copy their style implement it right here so what we have here is we have sort of a 
3D looking text right here with a gradient, a stroke, drop shadow. This is very, very good, like I told you guys, for cartoony themes. You can see a lot of YouTubers use this type of technique, right? There's more advanced ways you could actually do it. This is a really simple way for beginners. And I will be covering things like how to implement these texts into studio in later videos. All right, guys, that's all.